Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, tickets for AMC and Ape. In today's video, we're firstly going to be covering the price action for AMC and Ape as Ape has fell below that low of $4.40. We're also going to be looking at a picture that was exposed, which showed the turnover rate is actually bigger than the volume. As we can see, there's over 76 million turnover, and only 8.4 million volume for AMC and for Ape as well. We're going to be talking about that. We're also going to be talking about an article which talks about how AMC is going to have another squeeze and why I personally think that that article is both good and bad and many other things that we will be looking at so make sure you guys stay until the very end of the video and without any further ado let's get straight into it so the first thing we're going to be looking at is AMC and again you know this is going off yesterday's video and this is why it's important to make sure you guys keep up to date with daily videos but like I said guys we are going to be testing 884 and 824. It is in the hedge fund's interest to bring the price down as much as possible, especially bringing it down below that 824 level because it gives them a bigger mental threshold. But like we said, guys, we have a lot of an investor. We have a very strong investor space going from that 621 all the way to 884. That's why there's nothing too much to be worrying about, but this is something that we would be seeing. Now, obviously taking a look at Ape and again, this was actually a video made on Sunday into this week's outlook. I talked about how the lack of data, meaning it's very hard to obviously get a detailed look in where a ape is going to bounce from level to levels. But one thing for note for sure is that there's a lot more pressure coming in from ape as ape is going to be a stock that's going to be targeted more than AMC right now in reasons we've covered in previous video. One of the reasons mainly in my opinion is that it's actually going to be the first stock to squeeze as a first stock out of the two to squeeze because there's a lot more um, you know, news and catalyst with Ape than there is with AMC right now. And so just like we can see today, again, rejecting off that 474. So we had a high of exactly 474 today, guys. And we rejected off that zone and we bounced down to 423, breaking below 440. Again, right now with Ape, there is no, you know, there's not enough technical data to know about if this is the lowest point. One thing for note um, is that there's a lot of investors still in Ape. So you don't have to worry about Ape being sold off. We do understand that this is obviously, you know, a lot of pressure, a lot of attacks being spit on Apes. And so that's why, you know, we are obviously seeing kind of this movement. But one thing for sure is that, you know, it is something that they do want to do. Um, if you start seeing more panic on the internet or whatsoever, then it definitely is a job kind of working for them because that's what they want to do. They want to make sure that they can get people to sell apes so that they can obviously cover their own shares. And when they can, that obviously negates the squeeze. But if they are not able to cover the shares, if they cannot create the panic that they want to, then obviously they are not able to cover the shares and that will cause the squeeze to happen. But as always, it's not financial advice. So do take a while to make sure you own due diligence and research. Now, let's take a look at kind of today's um, news. And so with firstly with ape, we can see that there's a turnover of 19.77 million, whereas the volume is only 4.36 million. So that is already a big difference. And again, you know, it's making a lot of thoughts right now is circling around the Internet. And I personally think that, you know, this is first need to be discussed. But secondly, in my opinion, or I think this is again, I think it's very clear to everyone is that. We all knew there are shady stuff going on, but this turnover is really just looks like to me manipulating data rather than actually, you know, having a turnover of 19.77 million. But obviously I could be wrong. If we take a look at a AMC, it's actually even bigger where it's 76.42 million turnover and the volume is 8.4 million. So this is almost 10 times the volume, um, you know, in terms of turnover. And again, this just shouldn't be something that is obviously possible and this is something that obviously needs to be looked into and obviously with this post it sparked into a lot of things and you know firstly is Moaz talking about that Weeble is a data fabricator they've been working on increasing institutions ownership of Ape since last week August they keep backdating their fabrications the date hasn't changed he then links and this is something we have seen before where the shareholders firstly for the update time is still the end of August we are now on to the 21st or the 20th of September depending on where you are watching this video um and they still haven't updated the data and the data is saying that 94.77% is owned by retail and only 5.23 is owned by institutions. But if we go over here and take a look, so Lamau, so we are supposed to believe that institutions only hold 25.8 million shares of AMC, 5% 5 of 516 million shares, right? Some funds own close to that, just check the 13Fs. And again, you know, Vanguard and Blackrock 
own way more than that combined. And if you just take a look, Vanguard themselves owns 47.58 million. And they're saying that all institutions together are meant to hold only what 25.8. And so th what this is saying is that this is naked shorts exposed. And again, I do believe that. And, you know, this is the sort of situation we're in. And this goes back to what I was talking about in terms of ape is that there is going to be a lot of things thrown out right now. And the reason why they do that is to obviously create panic is obviously to create people to sell their shares. I personally will not tell you to buy, sell or do whatever. My own personal strategy going into this is just to buy more at a lower price. And so at 423, I'm more than happy to buy and also just hold on to my shares. I do not worry about selling. If, you know, if it goes to the dust, it goes to the dust. But I personally think that, you know, we're just one step closer right now, especially with the market condition. Also watching this video Wednesday, we have the, the rate. So definitely do watch out for the market volatility. But yeah, I think that this is very, very important. And again, it's a mess. They don't know how to fix it. Institution has sold out of AMC since Q1 2021 and retail bought up and had the flow. Since then, we own the shares issued by AMC theaters while institution owners illegally issued by Citadel and Virtue. And so, you know, this is what we're fighting against. This is what's important. If you're new to AMC and if you're new to Ape, this is what's happening in the market right now. But for those ones who have been holding it on for two years, you know, definitely don't be thrown off by kind of this message of 19.77 million and 76.42 million because you know it's not like we've been holding this for almost two years now and suddenly we just decided to sell that is definitely not the case i do think that there is kind of changing of data they're using wrong data to scare us up the next thing i want to talk about is the article and this is amc stock is another short squeeze in the works now let me talk about why i think that this is both good and bad the good thing is this is obviously more and more people are aware of what's happening with AMC right now. They understand kind of why there is that potential of a squeeze. Firstly, AMC's entertainment implied volatility reading suggests that there's still plenty of room for price movement in the stock. The borrow fees, the fees short sellers pay to borrow stock to bet against are close to all time highs, indicating a lot of interest in shorting AMC. A rally in the broader stock market could send shares of AMC soaring. So this, these are some of the reasons for why this particular person made this article of why there's another AMC squeeze. Now, that's obviously the good things. But why do I think it's bad? Why did I say that it's both good and bad? Well, the reason for this is because I personally believe that if we take a look at the previous movement for AMC, where we went up, and obviously this is after the price adjustment, but you know, looking at it right now, 44.61, I personally think that, yes, the price did go extremely high. If we take a look at where it is right now, going to that all-time high, it's over 400%. And of course, that's obviously very good. But when you apply that this was a squeeze and you say another squeeze that could potentially like this, I think that it's really limiting the threshold for how much. It's really putting on a roof of how high AMC can squeeze. And the reason why I say that is because you know, first thing when you look at this, some people agree that this is a squeeze, some people agree that this isn't a squeeze, right? And I'm not here to argue that. But I definitely think that when you say that this is a squeeze um, in terms of a article, when you use it like in this case, it creates that sense of, okay, so now we're looking at the roof of AM squeezed, AMC squeeze to be around 44.61. And I definitely think that isn't the case. With how many shares are being bought right now, with how many new synthetic shares are being created, with how much they have to pay, with the potential market crash, a lot of more catalysts are now, you know, added in now than it was back then, right? And so we have to understand that. And, you know, when we do get a squeeze, we can see AMC go all the way up. Now, if everyone subconsciously think that the roof is the high of 4461, Maybe some people will start selling at that level. And what this does is that this just gives shares for AMC hedge funds to obviously hold. For the hedge funds that are shorting AMC for them to hold, um, to, to cover their shares, right? And that then just sets a roof. But if everyone kind of ignores that and just treats it, obviously we have to pay attention to the price action as well. I'm not saying to not sell, but I am saying that this, in my opinion, I think is creating a roof of where the squeeze can go because essentially how we create that roof for ourselves is understanding that if we don't put our shares on the market when they do have to cover we can set our price that we want and that could be a hundred that could be a thousand that could be ten thousand that could be a hundred thousand right and so that's why i personally think that yes this article is good is that it's bringing more attention but i do think that also it could be creating that roof now comment down below what you guys think this is just my own personal opinion so some other things to look at is firstly shares on loan 186 million 
and the cost of borrow is 17%, 17.71% to be exact. Not too much change, and again, not too much to be worrying about. Still, we know the aim of the game is to hold on to our shares. With AMC right now, of course, you know, they are trying to apply pressure to us, but there is nothing to obviously be worrying about. You know, a lot of foundation, a lot of, um, you know, investor base down here. And again, we're really waiting for a major catalyst to happen right now. And this is really just the icing on the cake. If we take a look at some other stuff, it's firstly, you know, why is there more shares for Ape? Well, we talked about this, but essentially it's rehypothecation. And what it does is that it creates unlimited shares to borrow. It's a legal loophole that allows price manipulation legally. And so one of the solution is that to end rehypothecation. And what this does is that one thing we can definitely see with Ape is of course, you know, one of the biggest reasons for why we're also getting this much pressure is because of the amount of shares available for hedge funds to borrow and to short against us. Now, if we're able to get rid of that, if we're able to stop them doing that, it will create less pressure or one could argue that it will actually create no pressure at all in terms of downward pressure. And again, people buying into Ape, people, you know, holding onto Ape, that will actually increase the value of Ape in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I'll catch you guys next time.